Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott and in this series I will be using HSPIP to illustrate some of the power of Hansen solubility parameters. In this clip we use Hansen solubility parameters to understand solubility and vapour liquid equilibrium issues including azeotropes. As we've already seen, if there's a big difference between HSP, then that means that they are unalike and therefore they won't be mutually soluble or there will be impacts on their vapour liquid equilibrium. There'll be activity coefficients. HSP distance on its own is not good enough to do this and we need a more sophisticated model. And we have that generated by the YMB parameters. Here I have the smiles of ibuprofen and I'll just type in ethanol and HSPs of ibuprofen and ethanol are calculated along with some things like the melting point and we can then immediately do a calculation of the solubility of ibuprofen in ethanol. The first calculation is of the ideal solubility. If ethanol were the perfect solvent for ibuprofen, you would still not have an infinite amount because you have to melt the ibuprofen first, virtually, before it can dissolve. So the melting point and the enthalpy of fusion actually make a difference and control the ideal solubility. After that, you then have entropic effects and you also have activity coefficient effects. And they depend on the Wilson parameters which are calculated for you. And taking those into account, you can calculate that the solubility is 0.03 mole fraction, 0.1 volume fraction, or 12.3 weight percent. In fact, for ibuprofen and ethanol, it's more like 30 weight percent. So something is wrong in the estimation. It might be the Wilson parameters, but it might also be the ideal solubility. If the enthalpy of fusion is actually 20, and I recalculate, then I get 36%. So a small error in the estimation of the enthalpy of fusion changes the ideal solubility and therefore changes the ultimate solubility. So we need something like an enthalpy of fusion of 21 kilojoules per mole to get the right answer. This theory of dependence of ideal solubility on the enthalpy of mixing, entropy of mixing, heat capacities, enthalpy of fusion, melting point, are all calculated for you in this little form, and it's all described in detail in the book which accompanies HSPIP. The other aspect is vapour pressures, azeotropes, and what I'm going to do is mix heptane, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons, with propanol, one, two, three, and one oxygen. And again, it calculates the HSP, the Antoine constants from which you get the vapour pressures, and also the Wilson parameters which control the activity coefficients. And the graph shows the vapour pressure at different mole fractions of x1. So I've got no x1, so the vapour pressure is entirely that of the propanol. And at the end I've got all x1, so the vapour pressure is entirely that of heptane. And in between we get a mixture of it, Obviously, if there are no bad interactions, this would be a linear curve, but in fact we have these gammas, these activity coefficients, which show how they each repel each other. And you can calculate from these curves that there will be an azeotrope at 0.47 mole percent, so just at this line here, and it will have a boiling point of 79.7. That's saying if you have a 47 mole percent of heptane in propanol, it will boil at 79.7 degrees and the vapour phase is the same as the normal phase and so you don't get any change in the percentage. If I look up in the literature, the mole percent is 0.47 and the actual boiling point is 80.6, so this isn't a bad estimate. You can also see what the vapour pressures are at, for example, 25 degrees. I click the calculate and the vapour pressure of the heptane goes up in the presence of the ethanol because it's repelled and similarly for the ethanol in the other direction. So you can do a lot of calculations of solubility and vapour pressure and azeotropes using HSPIP.